What's going on, everyone? So today, the Lakers look to bounce back against the Brooklyn Nets. Took a tough loss against the Indiana Pacers. Talked about this heavily. I'm okay with that as long as you bounce back, right? If you lose this game, now the Lakers are in trouble. Now we're, we're looking at a, a real tough spot to be in. You got the what should have been a loss in the Milwaukee Bucks game. I, and, it, and what I mean by should have been a loss is you're down 19, you're down like 16 in the fourth, you look dead in the water, you came back, Bucks collapsed, you pulled out the win. Right? That was a game that should have on most nights probably would have been an L, but you overcame that. You cannot offset that by losing a game that you should be winning. Now, Brooklyn, they right now are not going to lay down. They're on a three-game win streak, trying to go for four. Um, they are you know, trying to make a push for the 11 seed. Right, they are five games out uh, of the Atlanta Hawks, so it is going to be very unlikely, but it's not impossible. I mean, you never know, right? Stranger things have happened. Uh, so, how much do they actually want to pull out and try to get a win? They're on a three-game winning streak, so I'd imagine pretty serious. I like LeBron James and how he's like, hey, you know, uh, this game is very important. The next three games are very important, right? It's no joke. He gets asked by a reporter, hey, you know, how do you feel that the next three games are against teams under 500? And he said, that's the, you know, that's the wrong question. Right? Like, they're still NBA teams. They're still teams that are capable of beating us. Brooklyn already beat us last time. So the Lakers know, or hopefully know, it's go time. Lockdown, be focused. Let's get this W. Let's do the bounce back. It's a huge game for Spencer Dinwiddie. And I really hope Darvin Ham allow Spencer to kind of be Spencer this game. If you were ever going to kind of take the leash off of Spence, now's the time. Take it off. Let him go wild, right? He's playing his old team that he did not get along with. He has bad blood with them. He he, had, he left that organization with a bad taste in his mouth. Let him just go crazy on them because if he was ever going to have a big game, this is the game he would do that. So to me, it's like allow Spence to, to kind of show, oh, look, you guys really messed up. Right? I mean, there were even reports not that long ago that Spencer Dinwiddie, the, the big problem was the Nets refused to let him run pick and rolls and, iso and isolation plays. Basically, it was just give the ball to Mikel Bridges or Cam uh, Johnson or whoever else, and you just basically, that's it. That's your role is just essentially the initiator, right? And you saw it, it impacted his game. So... My hope is that he takes it personal. He goes into this game and he looks to be aggressive and he looks to go and maybe drop 20 on these guys. I love it. Another narrative is the D'Lo and Dennis Schroeder thing. Right? Like Dennis Schroeder had, had some words, basically called DeAndre Russell a little kid, said he was immature. Right? D'Lo, for those that don't know, uh, D'Lo had an interview in an article that came out where he basically said that Last season, he didn't really have a relationship with Darvin Ham. It was really hard for him uh, to build that relationship, and it's because basically Dennis Schroeder was his guy. And because Dennis Schroeder was Darvin's guy, there was no real communication, and it, it just made things very challenging for him. Um, he said since then it's it's improved, and him and Darvin are good, but last year that was a real hurdle for him. And Dennis Schroeder, you know, he's going he's gonna to want to show up. And, you know, he's going to be pestering DeAndre Russell. He's going to be trying to... I'm excited for this matchup. Especially D'Lo coming off of a terrible... I mean, that's the first game he's had like that where he was... I mean, he was atrocious in that game. First game like that we've seen in a very long time. So, again, what's the bounce back? Not just for the team, but what's the bounce back for D'Lo? Is he going to take the challenge of Dennis Schroeder? I want to see him be aggressive. I want to see him dominate that matchup. Go drop 30. Him and Spencer Dinwiddie. Let's go. You, you have some extra motivation. Let's use it. Let's build on it. Right? Find whatever you can find to dig down deep and, and really get after it. That's my hope. My hope is that this is an, an opportunity for the Lakers to start creating a new win streak, get guys like... Spencer Dinwiddie and D'Angelo Russell on track. And now we're we're off to the races once again. All of these little things should be played into by the Lakers, right? Have these things written on. Like if I'm Darvin Ham, I'm putting all this stuff on the whiteboard. 
right? I would write Dennis Schroeder's quote, <laughs> you know, from from his response. Put that up there. I'd put you know the articles Spencer Dinwiddie or anything if Dinwiddie has told me something. Put that up there, you know, because obviously again it's private. It's in the locker room, right? But whatever you can do to motivate your guys, to get these guys ready to go and be aggressive and attack. Yes, this is this is a, an outside-looking-in team right now, but we're the Lakers. Teams are not going to just lay down for us as much as we want them to. As much as we would like this team to just say, ah, here you go. right? Do not let Cam Thomas go off for 50, please. Do not let him just dominate like he did last game. Hey, it's just can we can we contain him a little bit, right? Schroeder, uh, or not Schroeder, uh, Dinwiddie can Dinwiddie lock him up, please. He's familiar with all these guys. But another little like funny narrative is that hey, D'Lo and Spencer Dinwiddie both uh, were on the Brooklyn Nets together. So it's funny that the you know they're this is the first game that they're playing their team that they were on since they were on that team, right? Like. That, yeah, it's just kind of this, like, inception. It's a dream within a dream within a dream, right? But, no, in all, in all seriousness, like, this is, this is, I'm hoping, a big game for at least one of them, if not both, right? I, I really want this to be a game where, you know, it's really led by D'Lo and Spencer Dinwiddie, right? Kind of get them, well, not so much D'Lo, because D'Lo's, basically been been unleashed for a while now but maybe this is a way to kind of get Spence unleashed he's had a couple a strain a couple good games I know the last game he was bad just like everyone else but you know the previous games before that you know he's giving you double digits and stuff can this be a game and I hope Darvin Ham recognizes this which you know hold your breath but I'm hoping this is a game that Darvin Ham recognizes and goes hey Din Let's go. D'Lo, let's go. Right? The ball's in your guys' hands tonight. Ball's in your court tonight. You guys go out there and you dominate this matchup. You were just playing in this, in this uh, stadium, Spencer. Literally, not that long ago. Like, you know, a month and a half ago, whatever. Right? Like, this is this is still your home. This is your this is your court. Go Go claim it. Go put your stamp on it. Go show all these fans why they messed up. Go show all these fans why they are foolish. All right, D'Lo had a bad game. What, what's your bounce back look like? What are you gonna do? You just gonna you gonna what? You gonna have another one? You, you really gonna have two in a row? You have two stinkers in a row. I'll give you the one. Can't have two, right? And you're playing your old team. Let's go. Like, what are you doing? What's the build up? What's the bounce back? All right? These are the things we need. Go in there. Lock down, be ready, play some defense, get some buckets, right? Let, let's go. This is a game that we should be able to win. It's a game that we match up well and we should be able to dominate. Question is, which Laker team are we going to get? Now, they've been great. Five-game win streak. Talked about this. Would I have loved them to win 10 straight? Sure. Right? But if they win 10 out of 11, I don't care if you win 10 straight and lose your 11th. Or you win five, lose one, and then win five. Right? As long as you get to 11, 10 out of 11, that's all that matters. I don't care how you get there. You know, I've talked about the Lakers, you know, in their final 13 games. I thought that they would go 10 and 3. I don't care how they get there. If they can do better, obviously, since they beat the Bucs, I want them to go 11 and 2 now. So I don't care how you get there. However you decide to get there. If it's 12 straight or it's just, you know, you, you you win five, you lose one, you win another five, you lose one, and then you finish with your, you know, your last two or whatever. Cool. I'm okay with that. Let's get it. Go get this win. Let's get the bounce back. This is a huge game for us. Let's, let's mark this in the, in the win columns. Get back to nine games over 500 and close out with the, the Raptors and the Wizards. That would get us to 11 games over 500. i I'm pretty confident we'll be right there. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion. Past question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? Uh, do you agree? Do you think like it? Yeah, this this should be a W in the win column. Let's go. Big game for our guys. Do you think? No. Like, concerns. I don't think that they're going to bounce back. Again, 
Whatever your thoughts are, let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let's me enjoy these types of videos. I truly appreciate it. Now, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.